Hello, guys. What's up? I'm back. Still drawing deuce. This beautiful boxer. So hopefully I can get this area done for you guys today. All right. Pray for me. <laughs> Give me a like button. And a share. I would appreciate it. Or just come chat. All right, let's see here. Popping, Boba, hello, long time, no see. What's going on? How are you? How have you been? Oh, good, I'm glad you're playing with your cat and that you're good. That's awesome. What have you been up to? And how school, all that good stuff. Sorry, I'm just trying to get adjusted here. Okay, all right, let's do this. I think I'm gonna, I think I will start drawing or putting a layer down on his chin I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils. You got better with math, awesome. What kind of math are you doing at your grade level? Yeah, math is hard. But math was one of my favorites. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Let me know. If not... You know, we need some music, uh, some relaxing music. Uh. Try that. I'm going in the direction of the fur and the form, creating these very delicate. Ah, look at that, boo boo. Hopefully I can fix that. Oh boy. Man. Look at that, guys. Big mistake. I'll fix it. See, that's what happens when you're trying to uh, multitask. I was looking at my reference photo and uh, my finger slipped. It's all good. Fractions, awesome. With times, ooh, yeah. Charlie, hello. Long time no see. <laughs> Thanks for joining again. Yay, Charlie's back. What's going on, Charlie?
Oh, that's cool. What app is it? That's awesome you're learning how to draw with an app. Yes, the Swede is back. Thank you. Thank you for choosing to watch me. That's amazing. Out of all of the YouTubers in the world, you chose me. I'm very grateful for you. Sketch AR. Cool. I gotta check that out. I want to learn how to draw horses. Are you still posting on TikTok, uh, Popping Bubba? I hope so. Oh, thank you, Charlie 99. I appreciate that. And thank you for keeping me company while I draw. It's such a pleasure chatting with you. Oh, you got to post. Come on. For me. I want to see what you're doing. Especially this horse. Just post one. You don't have to post every day. Thank you. Yes. Yes. You made my day. Thank you. I gotta keep you guys motivated, man. Keep each other motivated. very important to keep your practice consistent. I know. I, I, I get lazy too. Don't get me wrong. There are days when I do not feel like drawing. But I gotta get up and do it, you know? But it's also important to take breaks. <laughs> Aw, nice. So what's your what what's your real name? Did you tell me already? I'm sorry if I forget. Or would you rather prefer me call you Charlie? Since you have such fond memories. Cool, you made a Harry Potter wand. Nice. That's awesome. Good for you. Look at you, creative. Being creative. Oh, hi, Lorraine. 
nice to read from you. Uh, do you always start with your darkest darks? I sort of run scared and start with the lightest colors and build up to darks. Only trouble is it's hard to get the dark. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, for me, I like to start with the darkest darks as long as I know that there's really no other color in the in that shade, you know? Um, because like you said, uh, when you start well off with other colors and when you're burnishing, it's, it's hard to, to go over it and make it really dark, dark. So like, for instance, like this nose, there's definitely no light coming in this nostril. So I, I went all in on the darkest tones in there. But if I know that there's, um, a shade of uh, color in within the dark darks I I don't make it too deep and dark you know if that makes sense sorry I'm, I'm a little uh, all over the place today Okay, Josephine. Ooh, that's a pretty name. Okay. All right. I will try to remember that. I, I'm just usually reading the name on the on the chat next to your comment. So, so I might end up calling you Charlie again. <laughs> Nostalgia rules. Hello. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining. You're welcome, uh, Lorraine. Yeah, Boba. Yes, yes. I passed a thousand a couple of months ago. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's an amazing ride. It's an amazing ride. You just got to keep at it, like I said. These gums, oh my goodness, so much texturing in these gums. I'm kind of scared right now. But it'll be good, it'll be okay. You know what, actually I'm gonna switch to, instead of a black black, I'm gonna switch on to like a, a brownish sienna, burnt sienna. to outline these main parts. What are you guys working on as far as drawings? I know Boba's doing a horse. If you don't mind sharing. I'm always curious what people are working on. Are you using the same kind of paper? Yes, I am. I like Strathmore mixed media. Uh, that's my go-to. If you guys have any other recommendations, let me know. Portrait, cool. What kind of portrait, Lorraine?
Okay, Boba. That's cool. Well, I appreciate you watching my live. But I do hope to see your horse eventually. Maybe you can uh, put a video together in TikTok once you're done or a work in progress, something. You're still working on your boxer. Oh, okay. Yeah, really? Why are you never happy with it? Oh, nice. First time you're working on an older person. Awesome. Good luck with that. That sounds exciting. I'm sure you're learning a lot. Charlie, you, your English is fine. It's all good. I can understand your English just fine. Oh, it's unnatural looking for you. Okay. All right. Well, you could definitely work on that, right? Oh, nice. Yes. That's always cool when your subject matter uh, interests you, you know? I'd love to see that portrait too, Lorraine. Do you have like a website or uh, Instagram, Facebook? Please put it in the chat. I'd love to check it out. Everybody. So everybody else can check it out too. See this okay? I'm gonna zoom in. Charlie says I need to work with light and dark tones, having a little bit of heart. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's that's tricky. The key to uh capturing the lights and darks is um, making sure your dark tones are really dark and then any highlights, any white highlights are really white. And then you have a blended balance between all the grays in between those, those uh, tones. Like right now, there's this highlight on Deuce's uh, gums here, or his chin, part of his chin. 
So you, you have to make sure you preserve that. Like don't, you know, um, smudge it. Just keep the white of the paper there. So when you fill in everything else, everything's in, in a darker tone so that white highlight really pops out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Boba. some more. So many different textures in the gums here. My pleasure, Charlie. Uh, I don't blend. It looks amazing. I don't know. Oh, um, actually, no, I, I do blend. Uh, like all of this right now, that's all blended. You know, is, is that what you mean? Um, I guess maybe I'm not understanding your question. Hi, Razor Riders. Thank you. You just messaged my picture of the portrait. Oh, nice. Awesome. Thanks, Lorraine. Did you um, email it to me or how'd you message it to me? So I know where to look. I have so many um, social medias, you know. via Messenger, Facebook. Okay, awesome. I'll take a look after the live. Thank you. Yay. I love sneak peeks, you know.
What am I blending with? Oh, okay. Well, actually, I just blend with the pencils themselves. So this is my first layer of this color. There's some, you know, darker purples in there and some um, grays and uh, some browns. So I just use, um, it's called burnishing, I guess. That's the term for it. So I burnish all of these different hues together with, with the actual pencil. Does that make sense? I mean, you'll see if you uh, stay on low enough, hopefully I could show you what I mean. Hi, Pope Boba. <laughs> Go brush your teeth, Boba. Dental hygiene is mucho importante. Okay, good, Charlie. But hopefully I could show you what I mean. Actually, you know what? I can show you now. So I'm going to stop using this color. And I'm going to use... So there's some grays in here. Right? So... You ready? You ready? So I'm burnishing and making this darker uh, shade right here a little bit more gray is that coming through so it's not so black right because it's turning into a highlight up here so from this dark tone i'm blending this gray and also down here and a little bit over here I'm still trying to preserve this highlight in the corner. So I don't wanna get rid of that too much. So this gray, right, happens. I'm gonna lightly put a shade up here, right? Just to create my first layer. Right. I'm gonna go around here and create this edge to make this pop out. Okay. Then I'm going to take my white pencil and blend that so it's a little bit lighter gray. Oh, my pencil just, the tip is too sharp. So I'm pressing a little harder and I'm making that a little lighter. You see that? So it, the edge is um, smoother. Right? And then I'm gonna make these lighter. A little bit lighter. Make it more gray. See how that works? 
so it's smooth, you know? It looks smooth. Does that make sense? You should try it. So you kind of have to like plan out where the shades are, you know? Sure, my pleasure. Thanks for asking that question. See, you're helping me. Thank you. You're making my life better and a teachable moment. I appreciate it. Because otherwise I'll just draw and, and, you know, not talk about it because I'm just focused on drawing. So a lighter area up here. So I'm making sure I'm keeping this a little part white. Definitely have to keep these very small dots of white to keep that shiny feel of the gums. There's so much texture on these gums. It's insane. It's insane. So yeah, there you go. Um, Lorena, oh, thank you. Do I have difficulty with bloom you know what you're gonna have to i'm new to colored pencils what's bloom Bloom is when using a very waxy pencil like Prisma, the hev heavily burnished areas get shiny, then they begin to dull out a bit compared to the rest of the work. Other brands tend not to do this. Huh. Um, get to dull out. Burnished areas. Hmm. That is a good question. I don't know if I've ever experience that maybe i'm not burnishing a lot and i'm not creating that shiny feel but i i don't know that's i'll look out for that yeah it's very interesting so I'm, I'm uh, assuming that you shouldn't burnish too much then. Just enough to, to capture the, the color and the shade.
So how do you avoid blooming then? Oh, I see. It happens when you go heavy yeah, instead of being patient. Oh, well, thank you. Good. Okay. Because I'm glad that you said that because I'm, I, I try to go slowly um, and, you know, very lightly. So, I mean, it probably takes me way longer to do a portrait, but uh, at the same time, I don't really care because I'm still learning and I just want to do the portrait justice. But that's very interesting. Thank you for letting me know about that. Because uh, eventually I want to do personal work, so I might rush my personal work. <laughs> Okay, Boba. It's all good. I'm happy you're watching, though. What am I doing this weekend? Oh, um... Actually, I have my daughter, our daughter this weekend, so we're probably going to go hiking with, um, with my wife and maybe a friend, keeping it simple, and then we're probably going to be just, you know, shacked up in the house because of COVID. We'll probably play some games and relax a little bit, watch some movies, eat some Eat some good food. How about you? How about you, Charlie? Continuing gentle pressure throughout the piece helps to avoid that. I can always tell when I need a, need a break because I start to go to heaven. Ah, okay. Cool, Lorraine. Awesome. Shevin, 89. Awesome. Good to see you again, man. I really like your artwork. What are you working on lately, Shevin? Thanks for joining. Ooh, a snake. Nice. Trying to find time around work. Yeah. Yep. Yes, find the time. Definitely. Oh, I'm going to switch colors. I feel like I need a change. All right, now I can finally see part of Deuce's smile. That's making me happy. Oh, thanks, Charlie. You're helping your parents. Oh, no, sorry about your funeral. Okay, yeah, I hope you would do something fun, too. Oh, wait, let me sharpen my pencil real quick. Hold on, guys. Need a very sharp pencil. Shevin, what are you uh, using for your snake? Are you doing colored pencils or something else? What medium?
Oh, okay, cool. What style are you doing? Like your comic book style or are you doing more realistic? Another question, how do you write teeth? Are you leaving them white or just take some grayish on them? Oh, um, great question. I'm probably leaving a lot of it white, but there is um, subtle shadows on it. So I, I yeah, I'm, I'm leaving that for last because it's a very delicate area, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. Let me see if I could get to it today. I just wanna, uh, you know, block out this area just to get his, his face in there. I wanna draw and look at a smiling boxer, you know? It makes me happy. But yes, I wanna color in the inside of the mouth and around the teeth first. Ooh, realistic but super vivid blue and purple. Cool. Can't wait to see that, man. Yes. Are you drawing from a reference or are you mostly doing it um, from your imagination? Hmm. Wait, hold on. I think I'm gonna start with a lighter, a lighter uh, pink here for his tongue. I'm gonna put this down first. Aren't they the, the best? Smiling dogs are the best, yes. sharpen this. Sorry guys, hold on. Okay, all right. Yeah, go your own path. Do you, man? That's awesome. Good for you. Oh, nice. Your cat uh, can fetch, huh? Nice. Your cat sounds like he, uh, he can fetch better than my dog. I throw a ball and sometimes she uh, brings it back. Or she brings it back but then doesn't drop it and she has me chase her for it. She's a little punk, my Bella, but I love her.
just going to outline his his uh, teeths. What's my favorite breed after Boxer? Oh, ah, uh, hmm. Oh boy, that's a tough one. Ah, uh, let me think about this. I have had other breeds in my life. I've had Great Danes, German Shepherds, uh, Cocker Spaniels growing up. My family was a big dog owner family. Hmm. Man, that's that's a tough one. Oh man. I'm gonna have to think about this. I mean my first dog as a family dog was a um German Shepherd Gizmo, so hmm. But then we had a Great Dane that was adorable. I love Great Danes. Or like gentle giants, you know. I think I'm gonna pick Great Dane. Yeah. How about you, Charlie? Besides your current dog. Or your past dog. Yeah, you have some awesome questions, Charlie. Thank you. Chihuahua, huh? Oh, okay. Amstaff, Pitbull. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love Pitbulls too. Chihuahuas, I'm um, not really into the, the smaller breeds. I don't know why. I like big dogs or middle-sized dogs. But that's cool. here definitely just blocking in all of these colors for the first layer.
Yeah, I know, right, Charlie? Yeah, pit bulls get a bad rep. And most of the time, it's not even them. It's the owners. It's the owner's fault. I have yet to meet a mean pit bull. All of them are so loving and playful. My boxer loves to play with pit bulls because they, they kind of play in the same style, you know? They like box each other and try to wrestle each other down. Something, something, something. I'm getting somewhere. I love to see progress, you know. Boba's back. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh, thanks, Boba. You think so? I think I'm kind of slow. But that's all right. I like to take my time. You know, add another layer of darks under here. And... Yeah, I know, Charlie. I know, I know. I don't understand people sometimes either. It's very, very sad. You know what? I think I'm going to... You wish you had a dog or a horse? Oh. Have you asked your parents for a dog? A horse might be a little bit more difficult to get, but how about a dog? Adding a darker shade of uh, purple under here. Create this shadow. Going slowly because I don't want to make it too burnished. I don't want to make it too dark either. Oh no, Boba, really? Dogs aren't scary. I mean, they're a little messy, <laughs> depending on the dog, but you could clean it up. Okay, Charlie. Yes, hopefully I'm still going live. Thanks for joining. If I don't see you, have a good weekend.
You're going to do your lecture over zodiac signs. Huh, interesting. Is this a school project? Wow, I've been drawing for an hour, guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Time is flying. Thank you, EM. I appreciate it. Are you an artist as well? What do you do, EM? Do tell. Getting some definition in here. Aw, oh, thanks, Boba. I would have loved that. I love drawing parties. That would be awesome. And so much fun. I really want to see your horse, Boba. Don't let me down. I want to see this video on TikTok soon. Well, not soon. Take your time, but you know, eventually. Okay. You said it. Yeah, I can't wait.
You'll add a horn to... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Make it different. Yeah. I love unicorns. I used to love them when I was a kid. Get in there. I think I'm gonna add some more darks under the tongue here or under the mouth. It's definitely more shadow. Pop out, you know? Make it more dimensional under there. really dark now so these whiskers really pop out because there's definitely no light underneath here hi Megan Jones hello thanks for joining How are you?
It's a lot darker. Megan, you're getting a puppy boxer for Christmas? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, I want a puppy boxer. That's so cool. I'm so excited. Do you have a name for your puppy yet? Oh, cool. That's amazing you're adopting him or her. Do you at least know the gender? Okay, cool. Little boxer boy. Nice. Can't wait, can't wait for you to get him. You are gonna have a lot of fun. Boxers are the best. They can be troublemakers though, so make sure you train them. Otherwise they can run the household wild. They can be very naughty. but they will make you laugh like no other. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate that. This is Deuce. How'd you find me, Megan, from TikTok? Oh, awesome, Megan. That's cool. That is awesome that YouTube recommended me. Thanks for picking me to watch. Please subscribe because I draw a lot of boxers. Most of my uh, commissions and clients are boxers. Yes, I have a boxer, Bella. She's uh, two and a half years old. And she's the funniest dog. <laughs> I'm biased, but she makes me laugh every day. She's a brindle boxer. Do you know if you have a brindle boxer, a fawn, a white boxer? Do you know?
Okay, it's a surprise. That's right. Ooh. Christmas can't come fast enough, right? All right, so what should I... I think I'm gonna render out more of the gums here. Make it a little bit darker so you could see it better. Megan, I learned how to draw uh, by watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Well, actually, no. I just like drawing in the beginning, and then um, I went to art school, took a lot of art classes, also watch a lot of YouTube videos. So, yeah. YouTube is an amazing resource, as you know, since you're on YouTube, for learning any type of art. Just Google it, you know, just search for it. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, you, you think it looks real so far? You like it? Yeah, it's coming along. It's definitely getting there. Now you can actually see his beautiful smile. For most of the time, it was like, like this, so. Making progress for sure. So do you wanna learn how to draw a boxer? Is that, was that what you were searching for, or were you just looking for boxer dogs? This has taken me over 10 hours so far. I've been working on this since Monday. So it's taken me a while, but that's okay. This is actually a surprise gift for Christmas. So don't tell anybody. Yeah, wow, right? That's a long time, right? Actually, I should say it's more like 15 hours at this point because I forgot I worked on this this morning. So hopefully I'll finish it uh, tonight or tomorrow. We shall see. That is my goal. pinks in there.
Getting there, getting there. Okay, Megan, thanks for saying hi. Hopefully I'll talk to you again and uh, have fun with your boxer if I don't see you. Switch the pencils here. Create darker spots in the gums. Let's get in somewhere. Zoom in so you can see that better. Just outlining around the 
teeth. So it pops out more. Hey, Boba. Thank you. I appreciate that. What time is it over there? Is it bedtime? I hope you're not staying up to watch this. <laughs> you need your rest. Okay. <laughs> All right, Boba. Yes. Don't get in trouble now. Thanks for joining. It's good to hear from you. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Good night. I've been drawing for almost an hour and a half. I might have to take a break soon. Good stopping point. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate it. Thanks for chatting. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Be safe. Take care of each other. Love you. Bye.